In the tumult of our modern world, where chaos reigns and uncertainty looms at every turn, we often find ourselves adrift, longing for stability and clarity amidst the storm. It is in these turbulent times that the ancient philosophy of Stoicism emerges as a beacon of resilience and fortitude, offering us a guiding light to navigate the complexities of our inner and outer landscapes. Stoicism, with its roots tracing back to ancient Greece and Rome, presents us with a timeless wisdom that transcends the boundaries of time and culture. It provides us with nine powerful psychological strategies forged in the crucible of human experience that empower us to reclaim sovereignty over our minds and lives. These strategies, distilled from the teachings of Stoic sages such as Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, serve as a roadmap for navigating the challenges of existence with grace and dignity. They are not mere intellectual exercises, but practical tools that equip us to confront the storms of life head-on and emerge stronger on the other side. By applying these stoic principles, we gain mastery over our emotions and thoughts, freeing ourselves from the shackles of destructive patterns and limiting beliefs. We learn to cultivate resilience in the face of adversity, to find peace amidst chaos, and to thrive in the midst of uncertainty. At its core, Stoicism invites us to embrace the inherent power we possess to shape our own destinies. It teaches us to focus on what lies within our control, our attitudes, actions and responses, while relinquishing attachment to external outcomes beyond our influence. In doing so, we discover a newfound sense of agency and purpose, transcending the turmoil of the external world to find refuge in the sanctuary of our own inner fortitude. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery and transformation, guided by the wisdom of the Stoics, we unlock the potential to live with intention and integrity. We become architects of our own happiness, sculpting our lives according to the timeless principles of virtue, wisdom and resilience. In the embrace of Stoicism, we find not only solace but also strength, a steadfast anchor in the midst of life's tempests, illuminating the path towards a life of meaning, fulfillment and inner peace. Number one, control what you can, accept what you cannot. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control, Epictetus. In the relentless whirlwind of existence, we are frequently besieged by forces beyond our influence, the capriciousness of fortune, the unpredictable actions of others, the inevitability of change. These external factors often threaten to undermine our stability, drawing us into a vortex of anxiety and helplessness. However, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism offers a profound antidote, the principle of controlling what we can and accepting what we cannot. Imagine standing in the eye of a storm. Around you chaos reigns, but within there is calm. This inner sanctuary is built on the foundation of focusing solely on what lies within our power, our thoughts, our actions, our responses. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who lived as a slave before achieving freedom, understood this deeply. He taught that true freedom is not the absence of external constraints, but the mastery of our inner world. By embracing this perspective, we reclaim our agency. We become architects of our own destiny, no longer at the mercy of external events. Our thoughts are our own to shape, our actions our own to direct, our responses our own to govern. This is not a passive surrender, but an active engagement with life's challenges, where we discern what is within our control and act with purpose and clarity. Consider the serenity that comes from this understanding in the crucible of self-mastery we find peace. When we relinquish the futile effort to control the uncontrollable, we liberate ourselves from the bondage of anxiety and frustration. We are free to invest our energy in what truly matters, our own growth, our own virtues, our own path. This stoic principle is a call to action, urging us to focus on our internal realm where true power resides. By mastering ourselves, we navigate the storm with grace, untouched by the chaos that surrounds us. In this mastery, we discover the profound peace that is the hallmark of a stoic life, and in this peace we find true freedom. Number two, embrace voluntary discomfort. 
It is in times of security that the spirit should be preparing itself for difficult times while fortune is bestowing favors on it. Then is the time for it to be strengthened against her rebuffed Seneca. In our pursuit of a tranquil life, we often seek comfort and avoid hardship. Yet it is precisely in times of ease that we should prepare ourselves for the inevitable trials ahead. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, urges us to use periods of security to strengthen our spirits against future adversities. This wisdom invites us to embrace voluntary discomfort as a means of fortifying our inner resilience. Imagine a soldier who trains relentlessly, even in times of peace, to ensure readiness for battle. Similarly, by deliberately exposing ourselves to controlled challenges, we build mental and emotional fortitude. This practice is not about seeking unnecessary pain, but about cultivating a mindset that remains steadfast regardless of external circumstances. It is a form of self-imposed hardship that prepares us for the unpredictable nature of life. Consider simple acts of voluntary discomfort fasting periodically, taking cold showers, abstaining from luxuries or engaging in physically demanding activities. These practices serve as exercises in self-discipline, teaching us to endure and thrive in less than ideal conditions. They remind us that we are capable of withstanding more than we often believe. By embracing discomfort, we inoculate ourselves against the inevitable hardships of life. When we willingly face minor adversities, we become better equipped to handle significant challenges with composure and strength. Our spirits become like tempered steel, unyielding and resilient in the face of life's inevitable tests. In discomfort, we discover our true resilience. We learn to detach our happiness from external conditions and find strength within. This inner fortitude becomes a source of profound peace, enabling us to navigate life's tumult with grace and confidence. Voluntary discomfort is not just a stoic exercise, it is a transformative practice that builds an unshakable foundation of character and resilience. By embracing this principle, we prepare ourselves to face life's uncertainties with courage and equanimity, emerging stronger and more resilient from every trial. This preparation transforms adversity from a source of fear into an opportunity for growth, allowing us to live with unwavering strength and serenity. Number three, practice negative visualization. He robs present ills of their power who has perceived their coming beforehand Seneca. In the quiet moments of our lives, when the world around us seems serene, we often avoid contemplating the potential for loss and adversity. Yet Seneca, a master of Stoic thought, teaches us the profound value of negative visualization, the practice of mentally preparing for life's inevitable challenges by envisioning the loss of what we hold dear. At first glance, this exercise may appear somber or pessimistic. However, its purpose is far from morbid. By visualizing the impermanence of all things, our possessions, our loved ones, our very lives, we cultivate a deeper appreciation for the present moment. This mindful anticipation of potential hardship serves as a shield, diminishing the shock and pain should such events occur. Imagine for a moment the loss of something or someone you cherish. Picture the transient nature of material wealth, the fragility of health, the fleeting nature of life itself. Through this exercise, we strip away the illusion of permanence that so often clouds our perspective. We come face to face with the reality that change is the only constant, Negative visualization is not about dwelling in fear, but about fostering resilience and gratitude. When we regularly remind ourselves of the impermanence of our blessings, we learn to cherish them more deeply. Our daily experiences become more vivid, our relationships more meaningful, our joys more profound. This heightened awareness transforms our approach to life, making us more present and engaged. Moreover, this practice prepares us emotionally for the inevitable losses we will encounter. By anticipating and mentally rehearsing these scenarios, we soften their impact. The sting of future loss is diminished, replaced by a stoic acceptance and readiness to face whatever comes. We become less vulnerable to the whims of fate, more anchored in the strength of our inner fortitude. 
Negative visualization, therefore, is a powerful tool for cultivating a resilient and appreciative mindset. It teaches us to embrace the present with full awareness, to love deeply and live fully, while also equipping us to handle future adversities with grace and composure. By integrating this practice into our lives, we arm ourselves with the psychological strength to navigate life's vicissitudes, emerging stronger and more serene in the face of whatever challenges may arise. Number four, harness the dichotomy of control. Some things are up to us and some things are not up to us, Epictetus. The dichotomy of control is the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, a guiding principle that offers profound clarity and liberation. At its heart, this concept is elegantly simple, yet deeply transformative recognize what lies within your control and what does not. By discerning these boundaries, we free ourselves from the grip of fruitless worry and direct our energies toward meaningful action, enhancing both our efficacy and tranquility. Imagine navigating a turbulent sea. The waves and the wind are beyond your control, but your actions, how you steer the ship, the adjustments you make to the sails are entirely within your command. Similarly, in life, external events, the behaviors of others and random misfortunes are like those waves and wind. They are beyond our control. However, our thoughts, our decisions and our responses are the helm we can steer. Epictetus, who articulated this principle so succinctly, teaches us to focus on our internal locus of control. By doing so, we liberate ourselves from the constant turmoil of trying to manage the uncontrollable. This shift in perspective is not an act of resignation, but one of empowerment. It allows us to invest our time and energy where it truly matters on our own actions, attitudes and choices. Consider a situation at work a project outcome depends not only on your efforts but also on factors like team dynamics, market conditions and client preferences. By embracing the dichotomy of control, you focus on what you can do delivering your best work, communicating effectively and managing your time efficiently. The outcome, influenced by many variables, becomes less a source of anxiety and more an arena for practicing equanimity. This practice has profound psychological benefits. It reduces stress and anxiety as we no longer waste emotional and mental resources on what we cannot change. Our minds become clearer, our actions more deliberate. By accepting the limits of our control, we find peace in the present moment and gain the strength to face challenges with calm and purpose. Harnessing the dichotomy of control transforms our approach to life's inevitable uncertainties. It redirects our focus from external chaos to internal stability. In this redirection, we discover a powerful serenity and a steadfast resilience. The dichotomy of control, as Epictetus so wisely advised, is the key to living a life of intentional action and inner tranquility. Number five, cultivate inner fortitude. No man is free who is not master of himself, Epictetus. True strength is not found in external achievements or material wealth, but within the depths of our character. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who understood the essence of freedom, reminds us that without self-mastery, we remain in chains, no matter our external circumstances. By cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, we build an unassailable inner citadel that shields us from external turmoil and allows us to remain steadfast amidst chaos. Imagine a fortress impervious to the assaults of the outside world. This fortress is our inner self fortified by the practice of stoic virtues. Wisdom guides us in making sound decisions. Courage emboldens us to face fears and challenges. Justice ensures we treat others with fairness and integrity and temperance helps us maintain balance and self-control. Together, these virtues form the bedrock of inner fortitude. Wisdom is the compass that directs our actions. It enables us to see beyond immediate desires and short-term gains, guiding us towards choices that align with our higher principles. By seeking wisdom, we gain clarity and insight, navigating life's complexities with a discerning mind. Courage is the strength to act in accordance with our values, even when it is difficult or unpopular. It is not the absence of fear, but the mastery of it. 
Through courage, we confront our challenges head on, transforming obstacles into opportunities for growth. Justice is the commitment to fairness and righteousness in our dealings with others. It fosters a sense of community and mutual respect, reinforcing our integrity. By practicing justice, we contribute to the well-being of society and cultivate trust in our relationships. Temperance is the virtue of self-control and moderation. It helps us regulate our impulses and desires, maintaining balance in our lives. Through temperance, we achieve a harmonious state of being, free from the excesses that lead to inner turmoil. By integrating these virtues into our daily lives, we construct a resilient inner fortress. This fortress stands firm against the inevitable storms of existence, providing us with a sanctuary of peace and stability. In moments of external chaos, our inner citadel remains untouched, a testament to the strength that lies within. Cultivating inner fortitude through the practice of stoic virtues is the path to true freedom. It liberates us from the sway of external circumstances and empowers us to live with purpose and integrity. As we master ourselves, we become architects of our own destiny, capable of facing life's adversities with unwavering resolve. In this mastery, we find the ultimate form of strength and the essence of a truly free life. Number six, detach from the outcome. Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life Seneca. In our pursuit of goals and dreams, it is natural to desire successful outcomes. Yet this attachment to results often breeds anxiety and dissatisfaction. Seneca, a luminary of Stoic thought, advises us to begin living now and view each day as a complete life unto itself. By detaching from the fruits of our labor, we find a profound liberation that allows us to pursue our aspirations with serenity and focus. Consider the craftsman at work. He pours his skill, passion and dedication into each piece he creates but he does not obsess over how it will be received by others. His joy lies in the act of creation itself, in the process of bringing something new into existence. This is the essence of detachment from outcomes. It is about immersing ourselves fully in our efforts, valuing the journey over the destination. Our efforts, not their outcomes, are within our control. This fundamental stoic principle shifts our focus from external validation to internal satisfaction. By embracing this mindset, we alleviate the pressure and anxiety that often accompany our endeavors. We learn to find contentment in the here and now, in the dedication and integrity we bring to our tasks. Detaching from outcomes does not mean a lack of ambition or a disregard for success. Rather, it is a strategic approach to mental well-being. It enables us to set goals and strive for excellence without being enslaved by the fear of failure or the allure of success. This balance fosters a serene and focused mind, free from the turmoil of unmet expectations. Imagine a gardener who plants seeds with care and tends to his garden diligently. He cannot control the weather or guarantee a bountiful harvest, but he finds fulfillment in the act of gardening itself. Similarly, by detaching from the results, we invest our energy in the present moment, in the quality of our actions and the virtues we cultivate. This practice of detachment liberates us from the tyranny of external circumstances. It empowers us to act with intention and purpose, unburdened by the uncertainty of outcomes. We become more resilient, adaptable, and at peace with whatever life brings. In the process of detachment, we find true freedom. We reclaim our inner tranquility and strengthen our resolve. By focusing on what we can control, our efforts, our attitudes, our virtues, we lead lives of greater fulfillment and equanimity. As Seneca reminds us, each day is a new life, and in living fully in each moment, we discover the boundless potential of our existence. Number seven, reflect and improve daily. Those who receive the greatest benefit from philosophy are those who least pursue it for its prophet Marcus Aurelius. In the relentless flow of daily life, we often rush from one task to the next, rarely pausing to reflect on our actions and their impact. Yet Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, teaches us the profound importance of daily reflection. 
By ending each day with introspection, we embark on a journey of continuous self-improvement, growing wiser and stronger with each passing day. Imagine standing at the edge of a serene lake as the sun sets, its surface reflecting the colors of the sky. Just as the lake mirrors the beauty above, our daily reflections reveal the deeper currents of our lives. This practice invites us to examine our actions, thoughts and responses with honesty and compassion. At the end of each day, take a moment to look back. Consider where you faltered and where you triumphed. Did you act with integrity and kindness? Were there moments of anger or impatience? By understanding our missteps and celebrating our successes, we gain valuable insights into our character and behavior. This reflective practice is not about self-criticism, but about learning and growth. It is an opportunity to recognize patterns, understand motivations, and set intentions for improvement. Through reflection, we become more attuned to our virtues and vices, guiding our actions towards greater alignment with our ideals. Continuous self-improvement is the essence of Stoic philosophy. As Marcus Aurelius suggests, those who gain the most from philosophy are not those who seek it for profit or acclaim, but those who genuinely engage with it to become better individuals. Each day offers a new chance to refine our character, to correct our course, and to strive towards wisdom and virtue. Consider keeping a journal to document your reflections, write down your thoughts, your successes and areas for growth. This tangible record becomes a map of your journey, highlighting the progress you've made and the lessons you've learned. By embracing daily reflection, we transform our lives into a constant process of learning and improvement. We become more mindful of our actions and more deliberate in our choices. This practice fosters humility and resilience as we accept our imperfections and commit to our ongoing development. In the quiet moments of reflection, we find clarity and direction. We strengthen our resolve to live according to our values and to face each new day with greater wisdom and strength. By making reflection a daily habit, we ensure that we do not merely drift through life, but navigate it with purpose and intentionality. Number eight, understand the impermanence of all things. Time is like a river made up of the events which happen and a violent stream for as soon as a thing has been seen, it is carried away and another comes in its place and this will be carried away too. Marcus Aurelius. Life flows like a relentless river, a ceaseless current of events that come and go, ever changing and impermanent. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, encapsulates this truth in his metaphor of time as a violent stream. By internalizing the impermanence of all things, we learn to release our grip on the transient and embrace the eternal, cultivating a profound sense of serenity and perspective. Imagine standing on the banks of a mighty river. Each moment the water before you is swept away, replaced by new currents. This is the nature of life, an endless succession of moments, each passing as quickly as it arrives. Recognizing this flow, we begin to see the futility of clinging to what is inevitably fleeting. Understanding impermanence allows us to appreciate the present more fully. When we grasp that everything we experience is temporary, we learn to cherish each moment without becoming overly attached. This awareness does not diminish our enjoyment of life, but deepens it, adding a layer of gratitude and mindfulness to our experiences. Moreover, this understanding frees us from the shackles of temporal concerns. The anxiety of loss, the fear of change, and the sorrow of endings are tempered by the knowledge that nothing lasts forever. This acceptance fosters resilience as we become more adaptable and less perturbed by the inevitable ebb and flow of life's circumstances. By embracing impermanence, we also shift our focus from the transient to the eternal. We begin to value what endures our character, our virtues and the impact we have on others. These are the things that remain even as the river of time carries everything else away. This perspective aligns us with the deeper, more lasting aspects of existence, guiding us towards a life of meaning and purpose. Consider the beauty of a sunset. Its fleeting nature enhances its splendor, reminding us that its impermanence is part of what makes it precious. 
Similarly, when we see our lives through the lens of impermanence, we appreciate the beauty and value of each moment, each relationship, and each experience. Understanding the impermanence of all things is not a call to despair, but a path to liberation. It teaches us to live with a sense of perspective and peace, knowing that change is the only constant. By embracing this truth, we find freedom from the fear of loss and a deeper connection to the timeless aspects of our existence. This stoic insight fosters a serene and balanced life, grounded in the wisdom of impermanence and the pursuit of enduring values. Number nine, align with nature. Follow nature, Zeno of Citium. In the vast tapestry of existence, we are but threads woven into a greater whole, interconnected with the cosmos. Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism, distilled this profound truth into a simple yet powerful directive, follow nature. By aligning our lives with nature's rhythms and laws, we find harmony and balance, guiding us to live virtuously and in accordance with our true essence. Imagine a tree rooted deeply in the earth, its branches reaching towards the sky. It grows and flourishes by following the natural laws of its environment, adapting to the changing seasons. Similarly, when we align ourselves with the fundamental principles of nature, we nurture our growth and well-being. To follow nature means to recognize and honor our place within the larger cosmos. It is an acknowledgement that we are not isolated entities, but part of an interconnected web of life. This perspective fosters a sense of humility and respect for the world around us, encouraging us to live in harmony with both our inner nature and the external environment. Aligning with nature involves understanding and accepting the natural order of things. It means embracing the cycles of life, growth, decay and renewal. By doing so, we cultivate patience and resilience, knowing that every phase of life has its purpose and beauty. This acceptance helps us to navigate challenges with grace, seeing them as integral parts of the natural flow rather than disruptions to our desired state. Living in accordance with nature also means embracing our own true nature. It is a call to live authentically, to express our genuine selves and to develop our unique potential. This authenticity leads to a life of virtue as we act in ways that are true to our essence and values. Consider the rhythm of the seasons, the rise and fall of the tides, the cycles of the moon. These natural phenomena remind us of the inherent order and balance in the universe. When we align our lives with these rhythms, we find a sense of peace and purpose. Our actions become more deliberate and mindful, rooted in the understanding that we are part of something greater. This alignment with nature brings us into harmony with the world and ourselves. It guides us towards a life of balance, where we are attuned to the needs of our bodies, minds and spirits. It encourages us to care for the environment, recognizing our responsibility to preserve the natural world for future generations. By following nature, we embrace a path of wisdom and virtue. We learn to live in accordance with the laws of the cosmos, finding our place within the grand scheme of existence. This alignment transforms our lives, bringing harmony, balance and a deep sense of fulfillment as we live in true accordance with our essence and the natural world. Conclusion In adopting these stoic strategies, we embark on a transformative journey. We become warriors of the mind, equipped to face life's trials with unwavering resolve. The path of Stoicism is not for the faint-hearted, but for those who seek true mastery over themselves. As we internalize these principles, we ascend beyond the mundane, embracing a life of profound purpose and unyielding strength. Let us walk this path together as fellow seekers of truth and resilience. The power to transcend our circumstances lies within us. Through Stoicism we find not just solace, but the strength to shape our destiny and illuminate the darkness within.